Hey, this is Matt. Let's thrive off grid. All right, guys. So in this video, we are going to be running two generators in tandem off of one gas wire with a parallel kit into a single output, and then we will load test the two generators uh, working together. As you can see, I got a third one, um, but that one isn't set up for wood gas. And the idea eventually is I'll set that one up and I'll run these two guys in tandem from a team. So we'll add the modules to the, the DFX3 RTR here. And then uh, we'll basically have triple the capacity plus uh, refueling on the fly. But uh, that'll come later. Um, we don't have the modules built yet, so that'll be a while um, before we have those. Um, so since I have the 8750 here set up for wood gas, um, as you may have seen, we've got numerous videos of this generator running on wood gas. And this generator I just recently set up for wood gas. And this will be the first time that I've ran it on wood gas. So, And I'm going to do that right here in video. Alright, so um, the last video I did, I uh, did a quick overview on this uh, parallel cable setup. And I've actually got three set up into uh, one. Um, you know, when I first got the, I got, I bought the second 9500 with the intention of just running these two. But after I built this and I figured this out, I thought, hmm, I wonder if this uh, 8750 is actually parallel capable and they just didn't uh, put the parallel ports on it to cut cost. So I gave it a try and it worked. So I don't know for sure. If this has a uh, sensing capability, maybe it's just the 9500 sensing it, and and uh, and the 9500 is syncing to the the 8750 or or what, but um, it does work, and I can uh, fire that up as a master and fire this up second, and they still sync. So I'm I have to assume that this is just as parallel capable as as those are. But you know, if you do this. On your own you know do that at your own risk um, so I'll leave that at leave it at that all right so running the two generators in tandem basically all I did is added added a T after the uh, the mixer valve and so I got one uh, mixer valve control for two generators um, if one generator will run then the other one should also run on the same mix if not, then uh, there might be something wrong. Uh, followed spark plug, the, the carbon monoxide detector may have uh, faulted, or oil, something's wrong. So, anyways, uh, yeah, if you've got the right mixture, both generators should run. And uh, we've tested this before, so. Alright, so, I mean, this is the basic overview. I got the DFX S3 dumbing unit set up here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire it up and then uh, I'll take you inside and do uh, some load test and see if we can get uh, a bit more power. Alright. Oh, I'm unplugged. This power is coming from off grid. I'm not on the grid at, at the shop. We, I'm uh, powering this off my battery bank on the RV. So.
going to give it a minute. All right, so I'm gonna bring you guys around back. All right, so I'm gonna first start with uh, the 8750, get that started up, and then uh, and then I'll start the 9500. Let's see what kind of power we can get now. Now, in the past, on a single generator, um, you know, five right here was pretty much marginal. So I'm gonna start there and uh, see what kind of beads I can run. And uh, I'll start turning that thing up. So you probably won't even be able to hear generators because of the welding. Now these uh these here were actually um, on gasoline. This is actually the first time I've ever done this with the two with the two uh, on, on wood gas. Turn this thing up. I'm gonna turn it up to seven. Okay. I've never never ran a welder at, at that setting on, on a single generator on wood gas ever. So let's give it a whirl.
That is awesome. So yeah guys, that is how you do this. You don't want some giant generator, you know, just to handle, because you, you want to be able to handle like a peak load. You know, this is the way you want to do this because now you have power on demand. So, you know, if you're just like right now, I'm just running lights in this shop, you know, it's a complete waste. You're just running this huge generator to, to power lights. <laughs> you're just burning fuel away for nothing. You know, so, you know, like in this, you know, if we're running the, the drill press and the, our, our bandsaw and, you know, low consumption, you know, tools like that in the shop, and then we just run one generator. But then, you know, if we got to run the, the welder, then we can fire another generator up. Now we got power to supply the generator, um, the lathe, you know, the higher consuming uh, um, appliances. And then if we need, need to run the, uh, the welder and the CNC, then we can fire the third one up. Run that off of a, a separate gasifier. And then uh, we'll, have more, we'll have more than enough power to run the shop on, on pure wood gas with no gasoline at all. Oh, and that's another thing too, because then I can hybrid. I can hybrid uh, one of the generators. In fact, uh, I'll just show you. You know, we can fire the the third one up. So yeah, I mean, that that is definitely both uh, generators running. So yeah, and then, you know, if that 8750 wasn't actually synced, um, I don't think that welder would even work, cause, you know, because that's got a, a, a big chip inside. Um, so if the phases were off, I don't, I don't think this thing would even work. I probably would, uh, if there's a power supply in there, it's probably, it would probably be blown up. So I'm pretty sure that the 8750 is uh, parallel capable. It just doesn't have the port, so you'd have to do it um, with a, you know, a, D, uh, a Y cable like I built. All right, guys, so um, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. <laughs> um, you know, thanks for watching.